Greetings, friends. It's been a while since I've taken you guys through the shop and shown you everything that's going on here. So today, I'm gonna run you through everything that's been going on with our BMW E30 Touring Wagon conversion, with the C63 Benz that's here, also the S600, what's up with that, and the C30 Dually. We've lowered that down, so I'm gonna run you guys through all of that, and we're gonna get into it right now. So the shop is a little messy right now. Uh, we're kind of cramped. I need to get some storage space happening here. We're gonna do some pallet racking going up high so we can get some of the things off the ground. But um, you know, we're more about getting things done and kind of improving our situation as we go. And so that's where we're at. Special, special wagon. This came over from Belgium where it got its bodywork and now the customers tasked us with um, motor swap, trans, diff, uh, suspension. So we're doing the max max load air ride suspension on this and um, also replacing the carpet on the inside. So I've been going through that. As you can see, it's got a little bit of the crash wrap on it. We're trying to um, try to keep things nice, you know? I don't want to unnecessarily scratch someone's car. I'm kind of a freak about that, and so that's kind of one of the things I bring to my garage is um, my need for things to be nice. Like if you look inside the C63, gone ahead and put the steering wheel condom on there, steering wheel shower cap, whatever you want to call that. Just those little touches, you know? Um, but going back to the touring wagon here. So, like I said, we're we're doing the engine swap on this. Um, I got a bit of the interior coming out already because we're putting in new carpet. So you can see that's getting uh, ripped out right now. And then in the back, Ah, this is where the air ride system is going. This is how the customer would like to see it like this. So cool custom install and we actually got like the compressor and some things underneath here in the old spare tire zone. We're gonna be rolling on custom three piece BBSs and so uh, spare tires, not really a thing anymore. But so that's kind of what's going on with the touring wagon. Just busy with that S52 motor is over here. This is going in. So we got this from our friend Narbe, who we actually found on Craigslist. Seems like it'd be a weird place to find someone. Normally a good place to get scammed. Um, but this is like the opposite of that. So Narbe, super steeped in um, BMW and also the engine conversions on these E30s themselves. So he set us up with a fully rebuilt S52 motor and good uh, performance diff from him, clutch, uh, driveline, all the things we need to put this S52 in. So nice upgrade here going full on M3 touring wagon. Is it gonna be the best in the United States? Probably, because we're doing it. Then uh, over here, kind of deja vu. So the C63, this is a W205 twin turbo V8 C63. Customer had it in here originally um, for this carbon fiber install. I did the carbon fiber on the front and on the rear. Um, unfortunately, about a few weeks ago, he 
got done dirty by a sneaky parking curb, which was halfway in and out of his parking stall that he was parking in and uh, just pushed his bumper in. So we just had the bumper rewrapped. I put the carbon back on, swapped over all the internal supports, did all that. And then while the car was here, we installed some Rentec blow off valves and the um, exhaust module that keeps the exhaust open. So it sounds nice and throaty all the time, full time, all the time. It's kind of a beast. Um, but a pleasure to have around. Let's go outside and take a look at the S600 and the uh, C30 Dually. Um, last time you caught up with us with the S600, we had put in a new tandem pump. Man, it's bright out here and hot. So we put in a new tandem pump on the S600 and uh, what that revealed was that actually this dead end pipe on the hydraulic suspension that we had fixed, that um, that was an issue and it did blow off, but we didn't lose any eyeballs or anything. So that's a positive. There's a whole video. We've done what, like three, four videos on the S600 and the W202 now, um, you know, in our opinion, maybe one of the worst bends ever made as far as the chassis goes. The worst chassis ever made by Mercedes. Fiber optics to go bad. 40 modules to go bad. It's a trap! There was a whole week when the trunk wouldn't even open up and then randomly it just decided to open and that wouldn't really be a big deal except our jumper pack was in there and so that was kind of a pain in the ass. But 500 foot pounds of torque and nearly, or sorry, five, 500 horsepower and nearly 600 foot pounds of torque. So uh, it's a pretty fun little beast. Definitely check out the video links in the description. We uh, abuse this thing a little bit, but we are gonna get the suspension to stand up or we're gonna put coilovers on it. Um, not sure which, right now we're just working kind of the cheapest option, trying to get the cheapest option to get this working. Minimal investment. Um, and then here you go. The Dually C30 Camper Special. We've been slowly chipping away at the C30. Uh, got it lowered front and rear. Still have some things to do with programming the ECU to the, um, to the trans and to the six liter LS because we just got this thing as kind of a basket case. It was like somebody's project. They couldn't get it started. Well, they told us they got it started, but there's no way. Um, anyway, we have a pickup video of picking this whole thing up, which is pretty entertaining. We got it for a great price and uh, pretty soon we're gonna get the bed back on it and then we'll get that thing out to pasture, get some cash back out of it. So link is in the description for the video of that. And then uh, just, you know, lingering around the parking lot, we got this um, Sedan DeVille that's under the cover here. It needs a little bit of work, but it's in full primer. It's actually for sale if you're interested. Um, you know, needs paint. Interior is decent. Uh, someday I'll list it and we'll put it on the channel, but we're looking, you know, maybe five grand on it. And of course, Dark Helmet. You know, Dark Helmet recently got the uh, Porsche brakes, six piston Brembos installed on that. There's a link in the description to the video of that. Um, and you know, it's just the heat of summer right now in Salt Lake City. So 104 degree heat index. I'm gonna get back inside where we're running the AC. Ah, man. It's blistering hot out there. Um, so there you go. It's a quick run through. Just wanted to kind of catch you all up on what's been going on. It's been a minute since I posted a video. Um, we've got more videos coming up though. I'm about to fire up the W124 Coupe, the turbo bends. Get the turbo bends out on the streets again. Um, got a little work to do on the Audi. And yeah, we're just gonna keep pushing that S600 along. Hopefully we'll get that thing up and running and out for sale here soon. But I think we're gonna cut the mufflers off before that because um, we wanna hear the V12 
straight piped. We want, we really want to play with this car a little bit and experience some V12 twin turbo before we go ahead and, and let it loose back out to the public. But, um, what else? What else? Still got a little bit of merch laying around and we're doing more runs of this auto afflicted standard t-shirt. Um, actually drop in two new tees in the next week or so. So keep an eye out for those. And, uh, yeah, that's about it. Just keeping busy. We are um, about to get a lift. We're going to get a lift soon. That'll be nice. Um, we've just been making do. We haven't really needed to have a lift as of yet, but um, certainly will make things quite a bit easier. So that and when I can maximize this space over here there's just so much room going up over here the ceilings as you can see are so high um, I think they're like 20 something feet and then we even got this mezzanine potential right here so sometime in the future I'm going to build that out and I'm going to have my upper office there with my receiving here for my customers and that's where they can play Mario Kart and uh, vintage Gran Turismo and all that good stuff. So plans, got lots of plans, lots of plans. As ever, I thank you all for tuning in. It's my pleasure to put these videos out for you all and share the little bits of knowledge as we gain them and the cool projects that we're working on. You know, we also do regular maintenance stuff. So if you happen to live in the Salt Lake City area, you need some regular maintenance done, you could hit us up. If you want a crazy project like this BMW, or um, anything else built really that we just love to tinker so hit us up you can find us on google auto afflicted uh, ring us up on the phone hit us on instagram auto afflicted um, if you're not subscribed maybe subscribe i happen to know from the analytics that like 90 percent of all of my viewers are not subscribed which uh you know that's your choice subscribe or don't subscribe but uh, it would be nice for me. Anyway, y'all be well. Love the ones you're with. Keep your cars as clean as reasonable, and we'll catch you on the next one.